credit score is actually very important. I see posts everywhere about people, you know, trying to get apartments and they can't get approved because they don't have a credit score. People who want to get car loans and they can't because they don't have a credit score. Hello everyone, my name is Cherry and today we're going to talk about this Adulting 101 topic and um, it is about credit score. So credit score is super important. I still remember my mentor told me about it and at the time I was just like, ah, is this just one of those like not very important life lessons that um, I get taught at school and all that. But that is not true because credit score is actually very important. I see posts everywhere about people, you know, trying to get apartments and they can't get approved because they don't have a credit score people who want to get car loans and they can because they don't have a credit score and it's usually like fresh grads because um fresh grads they many of them don't have credit cards many of them don't have a credit history so therefore they don't have a credit score it's very important to build a credit score how honestly just go to like a student union or go to your um the nearest bank near your school like the 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 bank nearest to your school sorry i'm kind of drunk i can't really talk that's what i did i went to usc and there was like a bank of america walking distance from usc so i just went and got my first credit card remember not to get a debit card because debit card doesn't really do anything debit card doesn't have anything to do with credit history because it's just basically like you can't go over your um i guess balance so yeah but credit card is something that you know go with negative and then you pay off your credit if that makes any sense no it, it it goes positive it goes positive and then you pay it off and then it becomes zero and if you pay too much it becomes negative but yeah debit card doesn't do a thing get credit cards instead and um honestly your first credit card doesn't have to be super fancy or anything it doesn't have to have like a lot of perks but i do have some good credit cards in my info box be sure to check those out I wish my first credit card was this good because my first credit card was like this Bank of America platinum credit card that has no perk whatsoever which is really really sad and now thinking back I feel like I've been scammed because there are all these other great credit cards out there with all these like fun perks and points that turn into money and plane tickets and all those fun stuff and here I am with like a Bank of America I'm not even sure if it's if it's called platinum but it's called something fancy but the function is not fancy at all and so yeah I don't use that card ever anymore so a credit score is super important especially when you're trying to be an adult and you're trying to get like your own place your own apartment and your own car and maybe like you know other things that require a loan maybe a yacht or something but credit score is really important try to get a credit score up and going as soon as you can I want to say like for me, I think I got it going in my sophomore year and I feel like it's not it's not early enough because um, my credit score, even though it's high, my credit history is still very short. So there are so many things I can't do and if I were to get a loan for like, you know, houses and all that, my interest rate will be higher or I have to pay like a, a larger down payment and so it's not ideal. Try to make your credit history as long as you can, which means start as early as you can. If you're watching this video and you don't have a credit card yet, just go and get, get, go and get a credit card because that's important. And of course, visit my links in the info box because honestly, like after trying all these credit cards, the ones I put in my info box are probably the ones that, you know, are my favorite or else I wouldn't put it there. And um, they also have the best perks. But um, build your credit history early. It is very important and it is something that I wish they had like a formal course in college because in college we learn about all these things like, I don't know, linguistics and psychology. I mean, they're useful, but how useful are they compared to actual adulting things like credit history and credit score? And um, some of you might also wonder, how do you have a high credit score or how do you build your credit history? Getting a credit card is not enough. You also have to make like monthly purchases. So but one really easy thing is just your phone bill. If you charge your phone bill to your credit card, you'll automatically have like recurring monthly bills, let's say 60 bucks per month, and then you just pay it off. And um, yeah, that's how you build your credit history. And so that's equally important and not just get a credit card, actually use it and also pay off your debt and try to not accumulate debt because that kind of sucks. And I'm a firm believer that you should never get into debt, basically, unless you can't control it. I mean, I don't know. I feel like most people don't really intentionally get into debt, but yeah, try not to get into debt because that sucks. And 
College loans is a different story and I'm not gonna say much about it. It's like a whole ordeal, honestly. It really sucks. I really disagree with the whole system. I don't believe anyone should get into debt just because they want to get education, but I don't make the rules, so unfortunately I don't know what to do about it. But yeah, um, that is the whole spiel about credit history, credit scores and all that. If you want to see like sober me talk about this topic, sure, but I feel like the drunk me is more um, casual about this topic. Hope this wasn't too boring and I love you and we'll see you guys next time. As always, I have a lot of free money perks and benefits in my info box. Be sure to check those out and see you guys next time. Bye.